þar til að halan er kemur. Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You! After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor, but this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery. ...and that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this Shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally... ...and will remain so for the length of my days. I'm grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor. Wherever you may lead. sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shirapsha an ally. I should confer with Randri.
good day. We are allied with Shropshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chelbet was killed. Yes, my scouts told me. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. I want to see the alliance. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Eivor. Jack, Basim has brought word of Sigurd's location. We're leaving at once to find him. Well done, Eivor. After so long, it finally occurs to you to search for our Jarl. I applaud your half-hearted effort, but I will not be joining you. Dag, this is no joke. On the ship, now. Someone needs to stay home and direct the affairs of the settlement. As you seem to shun this place as often as possible, it must fall to me. If you wish to stay, so be it. But when Sigurd is back among us, we'll see what status you have among the raiders. Say whatever makes you feel superior, Eivor. I know Sigurd will understand my decision. Do you doubt me so completely that you will not raise an axe to save your Jarl? A fine way of putting it, Wolfkist. But go, find the Jarl, bring him back. Only do not get lost along the way, as you seem to more and more these days. This is not done, Dag. We will speak when I return. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you. I will see you later. Dai dulci fruemini!
Look soon in there. My eyes cannot find the sight of her. Her hair so long and falling down. How are you cold, you bear skins? You a man who fights beside a great white bear. You are Bjorn Bloodtooth. Ask the dead. What do they tell you? They say, we do not want shapeshifters in these lands. They wished me dead. They are not the first. And you, come to make your name in battle. Another corpse at my door won't matter. I'm not here to fight you, Bjorn. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I offer you a seat in our hall. I have no clan, and no need of another. You prefer to live alone here with your bear? I prefer vengeance. Against the man who hung my wife and left her for the crows. Who is this man? A Mercian lord, whose name shall not sour my lips. He has scores of men. An army, perhaps. But that will not stop me. Then let me help. If you truly wish to avenge your wife, you must not fall in battle. I shall think it over. Njal, go with my bear. Feel her belly. And if Njal trusts you, who knows? Maybe we do as you say. You're tame for so wild a beast. Is that so? Tell me, what does a bear like you eat? Whatever you want, huh? Best you show me then. say Bjorn carried you into battle when you were but a bear cub. Raised you as one would raise a child. Favorite flowers? They are not food, Jarl. Reminds me of summer in Norway. We had fields like these near Hemminger's Hall. <laughs> I can see why Bjorn keeps you around. Want some fish, Njal? Here. <laughs> Nothing better than fresh fish. Eat your fill, friend. and dirty dame.
Lands Mister. A strong war arm, Raven Shirt. These men did not come for the fame of defeating a legendary berserker. No. They were followers of the Mercian Lord. My blood enemy. My wife's killer. How did your wife die? Fame has two faces, Eivor of the Ravens. In Norway, many a young thane wanted the glory of killing. They died. I grew tired of killing. Alfilder and I, we came here for a new start. A quiet life. But fame sailed ahead of you. This Mercian lord learned of your deeds, sought to boost his own name with your blood. You have the right of it. Only he wanted me to drink the Berserker brew first. When I refused, he demanded. Offered gold even taunted me. Then he... He hung her. Arfhilda. Your blood feud is just. But if it is something you must do alone... No. Your words are wise. I do not want to die fighting. I want to die knowing my wife is avenged. I want to kill that man. Help me. Tell me what you need. Nightshade. It's the last bit of magic I need for my Berserker brew. You shall have it. And when this is over, I trust the Raven Clan will have your axe. When you find the Nightshade, bring it to me beneath the gallows tree south of Beodorichsvur. Nightshade often grows near graveyards, and Saxons build their graveyards near churches. Nightshade grows in graveyards. No shortage of those in Christian England.
stretch. That is enough, Nightshade. Foul smelling herb. I should meet Bjorn. The nightshade. Good. It has the power we need for the coming ritual. Nearly done. The skalds say Odin hung himself in a tree much like this. He lived, though. Most die. Yggdrasil. The world tree. Odin's gallows. The place where life and death are one. Ride with me, Raven. The Sather awaits. Berserker brew hits hard. It may open your eyes to the spirit realm. It may turn you into a savage beast. Whatever happens, face it without fear. For you bear skins. The wolf shuts you drinkers of blood. We fight for glory, we shield biters. Wall breakers, born in battle's flood. I've been close to death many times, but this, this was different. Ah, feels like a Jotun kicked my head in. Tis glorious, is it not? Berserker brew, 
does not... does not agree with my belly. But you live still. Can you feel the power of the bear's blood coursing through your veins? Yes. But you... you were a bear. And the bear power courses through me still. I'm ready. Where to? The Mercians who slew my wife cowered in Beodorchsworth. We shall kill them all! With me! I've been close to death many times. Y'all will taste mercy and blood! Show me what you can do, Berserker! Put out his Yeah. <laughs> 
Bjorn, your enemy has fallen. You have your revenge. Yes. But now I fear I must ask you one last thing. Should you be willing? What is it? Njal is tired. I will tend to her beneath the tree where this all began. Please, bring us some of her favorite flowers. They look like... I know the ones. I'll gather them and meet you beneath the gallows tree. Stay strong, my child. Be honest. I saw... growing beneath the gallows tree. I brought her here, where it began, where it ends. I understand. They hung my wife in this tree, and buried her among its roots. A grim and undeserved fate. We took Njal in as a cub. She and I. No children of our own. Now both are gone. Yet I remain. Dear Njal, you were always at my side for the better years of my life. I must have end like this. Njal sleeps at the All Father's feet tonight. Yes. They let loyal hounds into the Hall of the Brave. So Njal too is there. With Alfhilda. Before, you asked if I would join your clan. I am ready. Good. There will be a place for you in my longship and in my clan. I shall sing of Alfhilda and Njal during our travels. Sing of their deeds. And I will carry their names into battle. When you're ready, follow the River Nen to my settlement. We shall welcome you as a brother. I will be the Berserker of the Raven Clan. <laughs> 